even by the, the International Criminal Court's standards, which is, I think, 15 years old, Omar would have been considered a, a child soldier or just yes. under 15. So when you're trying to get people to pay attention to the fact that he was a kid, what are you running up against? Well, I'm running against uh, insecurity. Uh, uh, people are worried that uh, the mantra of terrorism has been put around him. Uh, his family has, uh, of course, articulated their uh, distaste with our society, although they're here, and he was born here, and, of course, his father being heavily involved and, and his brother. So that, that natural reaction is there. But it's rather interesting that, you know, we don't want to treat him as a child soldier. In fact, the government it limited the definition on their own hook by, by saying that it was only those in state uh, militaries, which is, which is false and, and it's recognized. Mm -hmm. And we have our own case, which we were finally tested, because yeah. this is what it is. It's a test of whether or not we really apply the conventions that we sign, even though we haven't put them into law, because we haven't put it into, haven't changed our criminal law, haven't changed our immigration law or security law. We changed the National Defense Act slightly. Uh, so it's not into law. So are we going to apply it? And when we're tested, yeah. we back off. Yeah.